Without the light, you say Kalalal, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakah, Kodash. That life said the blunders to the elders and apostles of great stone. Shall I warm to the brothers out there and the four corners of the earth pushing this word in truth and sincerity with the hope of receiving mercy of your Hashem your Shai. So that's why we that's the main reason why we come out here every Saturday. They see me to receive mercy due to the fear where the Lord put upon us, man. They see me. So right now, we're coming into the last days right now, man. And now we know so we're in the last days by what? The prophecies then. You see me? So it's a what? In the prophecies, it says, oh, we're going to come out upon the highways and byways and bid them unto the marriage, man. Bigger that up. You see me? So we're going to bid them unto the marriage, prepare them for what? The, the, the coming of the bridegroom. You see me? Because we're in the time of our Lord, ready to, be, to, vi to visit upon the earth, man. Look at some other. You see me? Bring it uh, Matthew 22 verse 9 So go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So that's how they're right now, man. We're in at the highways right now. You see me? Um, yeah, probably gonna say. Read it again. Huh? Matthew 22 verse 9 Go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid to the marriage. So we're on the highways and byways and we are bid them to the marriage, man. You see me? So the elect to the word where I get preached, I got ear and turn back to the heavenly father, man. You see me? Um, beg you. Um, what's there? Yeah? It's five months. I have this man now. I'll just try out with the wound and eat. Isaiah 5 verse 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge the offense and seek my face in the affliction, they will see me early. Read us again. Um, Hosea 5 verse 6 verse 15, sorry. He said, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge the offense and seek my face in the affliction, they, shall, they will see me early. So we're going to see the Lord face, man. You me? By coming back to these scriptures, man. You see me? It's called the Lord. He dwells within in these words, man. He's saying, he, 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 um, he, he's saying manifesting him above these words or something. It's better put that again. I believe that is. You see me? So, within these words, I say I have a seed for the face of the most high, man. You see me? Go down to this. Let's read this. Um, verse 6, um, chapter 6, verse 1. Come. And let us return unto the Lord, for he had torn, and he will heal us. He had smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. In the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. So right now we're in the third day, man. You see me? We're in the third day right now, where the Lord arises us up back, man. That's why I'm standing in the highways and by his foot. A mark upon the head of them that say and cry for all of the abomination that be done in the midst thereof, man. You see me? Bigger this up. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom, wisdom cried without. Can? She uttered her voice in the streets. So they say I go find wisdom in the last days, man. In the streets, I cry out to the people, man. You see me? Bigger, um, add with 30 and 20. I say. Go on. She cried in the chief place of Concord. Can? In the openings of the gates. So right now we're in the opening of the gates, man. This is only that call, can't tell you what, the marketplace, man. You see me, yes, the majority of the trade been done in this world, in this land with them called J.A. or Jamaica. You see me? I yes, saw a place where we have a cry and told them and showed them the ways of the Lord, man. See how this is the way walk he in it, man. Continue. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, what? How long, ye simple ones? Will you love simplicity? So they say, how long are not going to be fools, man? How long are not going to go after all of this way of this world, man? Women are just like bitch. Man are be batty boy and feel like say, this is the most, this is pleasing unto the Lord, man. You see me? How long are not going to walk after the simple desires, man, and the loss? When are not going to turn back unto the Lord, man? He said, he's smitten and he will heal. You see me? Continue. 
and the scorners delight in their scorning. As the scripture says, we are coming in the, in the last days, scoffers, man, walking after them own lust. Because we are going out here now, we are going to tell them to say, oh, we are not the time of the Lord, but we are not going to laugh. Because we are not going to believe, we are not going to feel like say, oh, we are out here like we are eyeglass, we are not have nothing to do. You see me? But, yeah. not, but in at the end, we are not going to know by what? The prophecies them are going to come true, man. So we are not going to see. That's why the scripture says, then shall they know that there have been a prophet amongst them. That's right. When them start to them prophecies, they are come true, man. You see me? And at them time, the scripture says, oh, in the day of the Lord, my people shall be willing. You see me? But, you know, and fools. Hate knowledge. So what? The Lord consider him people to be what? Fools, man. Mean them not know the Lord, man. The more they walk after them own covetousness and them own lust, man. Continue. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. Alright, the, the Lord say you have to turn at him reproof. Turn at what? His correction. Kawe Mado. Him a correct him a correct us, man. Trust ten us. To do what? To do righteousness, man. Our people what? He say um the ways of the righteous is what? More excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces, seduces him, man. Because our people by, by nature are better than all of these nations, man. But what? Them fall off of all of them wicked ways and them wicked desires, man. You see? Continue, huh? I will make known my words unto you. Can? So the Lord is going to make known his words unto you, man. By our servants, the prophets, them, man. The scripture said the Lord speak, speak by the words of his servants, the prophets, man. You see me? Look at this. Oh, this is. Isaiah 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity Gone. and the words of affliction, Gone. yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So that's true, you go through your tribulation in your day to day life, man. The Lord is going to make it, it appear and so you can see your teachers. You see me? And he said, What? Continue. He said, um, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. All right, now, now, soon the teachers in front of you. But you feel like so what? We have some look at eyeglass that we don't know what to do. But you know, so now look at the teachers right now, man. Continue. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee say, This is the way. Walk ye in it. And if you, and if you look, this is prophecy being fulfilled right now, man. All people watch. They might walk past right now and they might hear this word and tell them, say, oh, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Follow the, follow the statutes of the Lord, man. Turn back unto the Lord and seek mercy. You see me? But who regard to do that, man? You see me? Just the elect have a come back to the Lord, man. Two thirds going to be put to death. You see me? Read that over again. Huh? He said, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. So right now, we are telling us that this is the way, man. Turn back to the Lord, man. One of the true children of Israel, man. You see me? A uno, a fool, fool, four parents, Moses, by the hands of Moses, the Lord used to deliver from out of Egypt. And he's going to come deliver now again out of this nowadays Egypt, man. You see me? Go on. He said, and um, when he turned to the right hand, and when he turned to the left. Go on. Um, beg your, beg your. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that, and that, and that word there, just listen to that word, man. The pastors are going to do what? Feed you, man. Meaning what? You're going to do what? Your brain is going to do what? Eat this knowledge, man. You see me? That's why I can say I'm going to give you pastors who are going to feed you with knowledge and understanding, man. And where are you going to get this knowledge? Where are you going to get this feed from, man? Go on. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse, or chapter 2 and verse, let's start at 8. It's about those enough money. Hear what I say unto thee, be not the rebellious like the like that rebellious house. Go on. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. So, so, so the scripture does say, oh, he might give us pastors who are going to feed us with knowledge and understanding, man. You see me, and him just tell us, oh, for me a mouth and do what? Go on. And eat that I give thee. That sure say, at, at least the pastor, them are come feed him, and the word of your boss in your sight. You see it? Go on. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a world, a world of a book was therein. Gone. 
and he spread and he and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. So lamentation being a lot of wailing and bawling, man. Mourning, same thing. Is it? And war meaning destruction. So that will come out here from telling them, man. Jeremy and um, don't eat, don't eat that. Um, verse, um, chapter 3 verse 1 Moreover he said unto me Son of man, eat that thou findest And do I, after we eat this, after we receive this knowledge What will job after that man? Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this role that I give thee. All right, so right away himself, we go, go to do, go for do, go and speak unto the house of Israel, man. What they um, we see the elder do a uh, um, a breakdown from some Hebrew Israelites so we go march up to Washington. Where they march up to Washington? What the purpose of them marching to Washington for? For so, what? Receive? What do they want to receive from Esau? What do they want to receive from Esau? I um, I recompense all of them done. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Esau comes and come in a chains and go in a slavery. Because that time judgment, you know. So what what Esau got to do fool no one in the march go up there, man. Show us on the not of the Lord, man. But the Lord, where the first principle we made the accent. Beat them to the marriage, man, going to the highways and byways. That is the commandment to the Lord give unto us, man. You see me? Look at this. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. So, well, first thing, what do you ever prophesy against many countries, man? You see me, are we in the land, the island of Jamaica, where it's a so called country of itself? So, we are prophesied against this country, too, man. You see it, what? And against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And we are the greatest kingdom right now upon the face of the earth, man. So called America, man. Which is referred to as Mystery Babylon in the scriptures. You see me, so the scriptures are for self face against Mount Sir. Mount Seir and prophesy against it, man. And that we are doomed. You see me, so we are prophesying against Russia, China, Germany, England, US, all of them so called nations that we are ruled right now. We are prophesying to I made them know, say, them end is night. Yo, about Shimmy or Shah, come bring judgment upon the earth, man. What? The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. So I saw now know, say, yo, we are the prophets of the Lord. When the Lord start bringing destruction upon the earth, you see me? When the Lord start killing off majority of our people, I saw now know, say, yo, we are the true prophets of your Bashim Yahweh Shai. Two thirds of them shall be cut off and die, man. You see me? Because we're not at the time right now when the Lord has to start make, make known say so he might visit the earth, man. You see me, by the destruction he might bring forth. Because uh, before we bring that, bring uh, Isaiah 28 and 6, 26 and 6. Go back up. Isaiah 26 verse 6. Huh? Isaiah 29 verse 6. He said, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder Ban. and with earthquake Ban. and great noise, Ban. with storm and tempest and the flame of the pouring fire. Alright, now when you look on the world, all of these prophecies have been coming true, man. You see me? Why the hell we have so much earthquake and we can't even number it, man? You see me, in a one week, them have over 100 and odd earthquakes, man. This is not normal. You see me, but what? The scriptures say, oh, the judgment of the Lord goes forth every day, but what? The, 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 the unjust, no, no shame. So they don't believe that this is the judgment of the Lord, man. They don't believe California being burning is the judgment of Yahweh, but Hashim Yahweh Shai. But they say, I'm going to visit the earth in the last days, man. You see me, read that again from Baba Kosha. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of the bowing fire. Isaiah 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts 
with thunder Gone. and earthquake Gone. and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of the bowing fire. So you say flame of the bowing fire, man. You see me? Because right now, we just get the fire up on a small scale, man. So 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 like, uh, that's, why, that's why the precept um, I read earlier you know, about the um, bidding the elect for the marriage, it's all about getting them ready for that day, you know, so they can get saved out of that day. You know what I mean? The day, the day which is coming, we're going to burn with fire. You know what I mean? Because scripture tell in Revelation, so what? They're not there, they're not the sea. We have seen the servants of David the Father in their forehead, which is what? Understanding of the scriptures. See, so that doesn't take place now. They say, you might even give your pastors a card in the man, which are feeding with knowledge and understanding. That is Yahweh Shai. Because scripture tell us that Yahweh Shai come in the volume of the book. You know what I mean? So when you get fed, you're, get, you're, you're being fed Yahweh Shai. Which is also symbolic when you're born in a manger, yo. Because the, um, I think the word manger means um, a feeding trap. You know what I mean? And Yahweh Shai is that symbol. So when, you, when, you, when you're learning and eating this whole world, you're eating Yahweh Shai, the scripture tells you, be all I come in the volume of the book. It's the reason of me. So when, when we out here, Wisdom cried to doubt that Yahweh Shai. So when we're actually spitting out or um, saying these words, it's not ours. We're just, you know, delivering a message, just delivering the words of Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. And when you wake up, you wake up because you hear Yahweh Shai. So my sheep hear my voice. You know what I mean? So you can continue asking. And it's all about delivering the elect before that dreadful day. Because we are, we are approaching that dreadful day. Alright? Go on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. This is enough to get them pack of it already. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So the brother clearly has shown you, say, I want to be with stability, man. And it's a wisdom and knowledge, man. Showing us truth, say, I'm shy. I'm going to be our stability in the time to come, man. You see me? Because he is the manifestation of wisdom upon this earth, man. You see me? Go on. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. That's why I'm, a, I'm treasure. I'm going to give treasure to everybody. You see me? Because what is a treasure? A treasure is a very, a very valuable substance, man, or material. You see me? And I just give treasure to every, every single body. My chosen people who him choose, which he refer to as his elect, man, Israel of the most high. As the scripture say, all Israel is not of Israel, man. You see me? Look at that back. Yeah. This is book of Second Ezra, chapter eight, verse sixty-three. Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders okay. which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. So, second, so Ezra, Ezra say, oh, the Lord show him the things that we are going to do in the last days, man. You see me? So, so we know what we in the last days because what the prophecies, man. You see me? Because the scripture also said, no man know the time, you know. But we get prophecies, we get things to measure for no say we in at the time of the visitation of the Lord, man. Go on. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Alright, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. So what we have to do, we have to measure the time, man. And we have to give we measure in statement. Go on. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time. I want to see part of the signs pass, man. So we're going to go for some of them signs that uh, well, our Lord did give unto us, beg your mother. Okay, can, can, um, this, um, part of the sign is also seeing the prophets. It's a big part of the sign. I'm tell you, I'm saying, I'm not going to give you no sign. No sign now be shown to this generation with the sign of the prophet Jonas. All right, this we, um, the, the prophets and the highways who I'm sent are a symbol, a symbolic to the prophet Jonas. All right, so that is the great, that is the greatest sign, and that's ever. a miracle. And that's a miracle where my heart and can say this is a miracle. All right, so, so this is the, this is the greatest sign ever. You know, and when you see this, yeah, just like this. When it, when in um, whenever people see prophets come out, when they see Jeremiah come out, Jeremiah or, or Elijah, them not like to see them man there. You know what I mean? Um, you, have, you have a king, I think I like the first king. You know why? You know why? Jeremiah said that man. 
I don't want to see that man. I don't want to hear that from that man. Because that man is Never not a good visit. No, I'm not a good visit about me. Yeah. Once you see the prophecy of the Lord get risen up, you right. know, destruction is nigh. Man. I know what is. Right, you know why them fear them so, why, why them fear the prophets of the Lord so much? Because when them speak, the thing them happen. Because them don't speak the words of them own. You know what I mean? So the reason, the reason why we come, one of the reasons why we come is because something about the happen. Something major is about the happen from planet Earth. In terms of destruction, man. So this is the reason why you see it. Because something major is going kick off from planet Earth, yo. And we're here to tell you before it happens. Skip us, yo. If you um, hear these words and give them warning from me. So we ought to give the people them warning, so yo. At the end of the day, them can't say, yo, they never hear. Those who have a Yeah, those who have a year, make them hear, yo. Go on. Alright, this is Matthew chapter um, 24. And we are start at verse, um, verse 6. And he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Alright, you see? This is one of the signs, them. This is one of the things they want to use as a measure stick as according to 2nd Ezra 9. Right. You see me? And right now, if you ever pray the news, you see me? Right now, what you have in the media pushing right now? Trade wars. You see me? America has sanctioned. I don't know who them now sanctioned and I put tariff on, man. You see me? They put tariff on, they put sanction for the nation, and they will buy weapons from, from Russia. You see me? The S400s, them. You see me? Them, them, them now war, them nation, they have to strengthen themselves for them defenses to come against them, man. But they can't stop it because it's all prophecy. You see me? They, they want to sanction China, they want to sanction India, Matsilakia. They want to sanction China, they want to sanction India, they want to sanction Russia, Turkey. You see me? Can you bring them out to man and buy them? He you. He you. Done. Yeah, because they don't put them from um, the, the, the exemption from um, the Iran um, ex um, deal. Everybody will come to me and say, yes, I get um, I get free or sanction. Uh, you know, I get Trump have, have a heat out um, for them. Sanctions are coming. Right, so everybody, once you come up, that, and that's how we know that the war is inevitable. One of the main reasons why we know say, the war is inevitable is because the most I speak it. The most I said, it's a go that's the main reason. No, no, we come out and mouth. No, I return and team fight. See, so that's one of the main reasons for all we know, say, where are our cheeks inevitable? See? Go on, huh? He said, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's, you know, in the scripture never say, I go see war, you know. It say, I go hear. See, I go hear a new say, oh, war, as the brother said, eminent. You see, Mr. War is in the air. That's why you have trade war, and after trade war, where you going to have the real war. That's why right now, in all of these nations, they are put out what? The people them for be what? Forget them national identification. Hey, hey, and you see going to feel the blunt end. You know what I mean? That, 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 this piece of rock where people love so much, they are going to feel the blunt of the trade war and when World War III actually start. Right now, um, the Caribbean, there will be a major um, war. When this World War III, when World War III kick off, um, um, the Caribbean, I go feel it drastically, right? Just like what when, when World War II actually happened, um, did I go on? Jamaica feel a, a heavy part of it, man. When it come to food, when it come to trading, because I guess when country when country a war and the food not come here, man, a majority. But then Jamaica died independent for for imported goods. So you can't just imagine now, to make a weird, oh, oh, oh. So high between, weird, 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 you can just imagine the, the, um, the chaos. And food them in a store can't last them a week. Hey, it, 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 well, you, you, you get a prime example of that when Starma come. He, within, within no time, shelf, you have a lot of shelf go empty. Within, within, three, within three days? Within three days. Within empty. less than three days, man. <laughs> then, you, you have stores go empty and um, that's, how, that's how quick. So imagine when war kick off and war last months, year. You know what I mean? The country has got it. But I worry you're not going to see it here, man. Zin? But that it's going to have a time, you're going to have a time period of suffering. You're going to have a time, a long time period of famine. Months of famine. Zin? So, 
just imagine what's going to take place, yo. And the famine is not going to be a normal famine, neither. Man. Right, just keep telling you tell the severity of the famine. Mm. But this is what you're hearing. You're hearing wars and rumors of wars. So that we out and I had news. Because rumors just mean news, you know. You see me so now I hear the news, them, what we are telling you. Know, so yo. I, I, yeah, them I hear it from with you. You yeah, hear about the war, them. You know what I mean? Yeah, every time when a war grew, um, when, um, when a conflict between countries come up, that's our duty as a prophet, man. Our duty is not to march. Our duty is not to um, protest. Uh, protest. Go to Capitol Hill or go in Africa or go for God knows. Go protest with, with our Look how long them are protest. Black, you know, yeah, protest not really get it. Yeah, this is how we're protesting, man, spiritually. This is all. Guys, keep us yo, go into the gates of the nobles, shake the hand, man. This is how we protest. See, we're not, we're not, go, we're not go, um, have the mindset to rise up against Isa and march against Isa. That's madness, yo. We are rising See? up spiritually. This is a spiritual um, rising up. This is a spiritual protest, man. See? Because we know that taking arms now are praying to march up against Isa right now. It's it vain. Empty because we're waiting on who? You have a shy man. The most side are crushing. The most side are crushing, man. The most side is to be Isa for rule for a specific time frame. No matter if you can cut that shot. Dan, the same, the same um, thing um, Gamaliel said to the um, said to the, so to the high priest. Them. He said, yo, man, um, there's a man who rise up named Thudas, man. And them thing come to naught, who was Thudas? He was a zealot, a zealotist. And many like him. You know what I mean? Many like him, they actually arise against the Roman Empire, and guess what? They come to naught. See? So the same thing right now, man. Anything we are shy to prescribe, yo, yo, if you now go according to what Yahweh says, see? See, I see him, see him, please, the way you bring food, I see him, think the brother tell him. Say yo, if, you, if, if, if this work is not of the Lord, it will come to naught. Mm -hmm. But this is, if it is of the Lord, you'll you be fine yourself fighting against who? The most exactly. high, man. And that's you why every, every religion, every thing, every sort of philosophy, every philosophy, where someone, you know, where, where anybody take on to them, say whether Christianity, Buddhism, Rastafarianism, Egyptology, all of them come to naught at the end of the day. Because the true prophets, man, the true prophets of the Lord, you're going to, them are going to glorify. Them, you're going to get acknowledged that 